Here's a lesson that really did take off with pupils in Tiverton last week. Hethgood Fabrics, in conjunction with Tiverton High School and three of the town's primary schools, launched more than 80 rockets as part of the Hethgood Challenge. The challenge links in with the work which is currently taking place with NASA and follows on from a visit pupils enjoyed to the factory earlier this year. What we decided we'd do a small prototype this year and we've had somewhere between 120 and 130 school kids come around and if it's successful then we'll do a, uh, we'll do a bigger launch of a, to the wider school community next year. And how is the link with NASA going so far? Well we're doing two projects, one is for a Mars 20, 2030 mission which is quite a long way off so there's a lot of technical work in that and the other uh, is landing um, satellites and other things that go in orbit back on Earth. So it's going pretty well, they've been quite impressed with the technology that we can deliver to them. As well as learning about rockets and the work done at the factory, pupils also learned other valuable lessons through the project. First of all, teamwork. They've all worked in teams and some of those were really successful. Um, understanding the aerodynamics and how fabric can have an impact on how far they travel and understanding all concepts of the, the rocket uh, projects. Well, it's been really good. It's been, it was great seeing the primary schools firing their rockets this morning. They were very bright and colourful. Um, our students, our year nine students, they went for more uh, aerodynamics rather than the design and the colour, um, but they are flying so far. Really impressed. Uh, we're really pleased that all the children's rockets got to get uh, launched and we had some really far travellers and some very artistic designs as well. What do you hope the pupils take away from their experience this morning? So there's two things. Uh, Firstly, they went to visit the Fabrics factory a little while ago and that's been really inspiring for several of them in terms of what they might want to do in the future. But also we've had um, a good time building and looking at the design of rockets and how that helps them fly. And those who took part couldn't wait to show their rockets off to the cameras. We had to colour loads of things in and we stuck them on and then we got pieces of material and we made the the teacher cut templates out and we had to make them into shape and then cut out of the fabric. So me and Alex decided to build um, the rocket based on the things we like. So we Alex decided to do money. Money! But And, and I drawed food but they, it all came off. And the cone was very hard because the material is really hard. I decorated it like this because rockets normally go into space. So I done that space stuff, like shooting stars and those. <laughs> and did it shoot into the stars? No. We designed the rocket like this because we wanted it to be colourful and we wanted it to go really far. But we were only allowed to use two colours. But we mixed those two together to make the purple. I designed it like this because um, it shoots water, but then normal rockets shoot red. So I put what um, me, me and my partner put water, put blue as water and then red as fire. Did it go far? Yeah. So who knows? Maybe the next generation of NASA scientists may come from Tiverton. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, four. Lewis Clark, Devon Live, Tiverton.